Hi people, if you have given up on bean flour because your akara is always looking like Nigerian buns, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to make soft and fluffy akara with bean flour. For to start, we're going to use some bean flour and to that I'm adding in warm water. Not hot water, not room temperature water, but warm water. Mix that thoroughly and I usually start with a little quantity of water and then I add in more as I need to. That way you're sure that you wouldn't add too much water to your akara or your bean flour piece. So cover that and allow that to sit. I usually recommend 30 minutes to an hour. While that is happening, you can blend your onions and your pepper and then come back to add your seasoning to the bean flour piece. Add in your blended onion and pepper, whip it thoroughly. Now, if you don't have a hand mixer, you can use a hand whisk or you can mix it over a long period of time with a wooden spoon. Once you're done, you add that to medium heated oil. You don't want the oil to be too hot. If it's too hot, it will burn. And then allow that to fry on both sides and then bring it out from the oil using a strainer. And that's how to make akara with bean flour. The secret is in the soaking. Don't use uh, bean flour and think it's an instant solution. That's where many, many people get it wrong. Sometimes you can even soak it overnight and put it in the fridge if you know you're making akara in the morning and you will get really good results. I used to struggle with bean flour akara, but after I found out that soaking is the method, I have gotten good results. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.